Alright, what's up guys? Thank you for joining the video. We're going to be talking about something regarding Resurrection 2.0, yet again, for Black Ops 3 Zombies. It's something we've been talking about for a while now. We've mentioned it recently. It's because of the fact that so many different teasers and just so much information has been sort of hinting at a DLC 4 coming for Black Ops 3 Zombies that includes potential remaster maps. And we're probably going to go into the nuances of this sort of idea that we're going to see remaster maps. Now, I've been saying I made the Moon Remaster video. I don't know if that's out yet, but I made a bunch of different videos really talking about this, but I really want to talk about is this possible and how exactly is this going to be shown and we're also going to be looking at a fan made sort of menu art here of someone that sort of made something that would look like you know what would, what would happen if all the maps came back to um dlc 4 and what would it look like here now they excluded black ops 2 maps and i do think origins and mob of the dead need to be in there so that's something I'll, i'm gonna have to change and talk about and we'll talk about that when I, once i actually show you the fan made image here but again we're gonna be looking at that menu image and we're also gonna look at again why this is so possible and how it would make sense for to be released, what they're going to do with the menu, what they're going to do with the season pass holders, how they're going to release it, whether it's all zombies, map pack resurrection 2.0, whether it's going to be on the side, how much money it's going to be. We're going to go through all that stuff within this video. So if, again, if you guys can leave a like, that'd be greatly appreciated. Daily like goal, usually 200 likes. We're basically hitting it at this point, guys. Thank you for liking the video and watching all of these videos. I really do appreciate it. And the hype for DLC4 and revelations and just p the potential and possibility that we can see remaster maps is just so insane. Saying it's so freaking cool so thank you guys for that and then um, you're gonna get started here with talking about dlc4 resurrection 2.0 and just the possibilities that we can actually see anything even close to that so that's just insane so that's gonna be that let's hail our like goal of 200 likes and let's get started so resurrection 2.0 we have a couple different possibilities in which we can actually see this map pack. One would be just straight up Resurrection 2.0, like we expect it to be. One new Zombies map and four remastered Zombies map, just like we saw with the Resurrection DLC 4 for Black Ops 1, where we saw Moon, and then we saw the four World at War maps come back to the new game and they weren't exactly remastered i think they were just straight up brought back so again we haven't really actually seen remaster maps before we've seen an all zombies map pack but not necessarily like a remastered map pack so again this would still be a first uh, to some extent now another way we can see this would be the remastered maps or the remade maps or the maps brought back whatever they want to do we can see them as a res resurrection map pack but on the side of dlc4 so I know everyone's been making these videos sort of debunking DLC for Resurrection 2.0 and basically saying, guys, there's no way we're going to see an all zombies map pick because of the fact that it specifically says that we will see multiplayer maps every single DLC and zombie maps every single DLC. So they have to give multiplayer maps. It's a part of their marketing. It's part of Activision's plan. They have to do it for DLC 4. We're going to get multiplayer maps. But if that's the case, then what if or what what is what's stopping Treyarch to give us remaster maps on the side of DLC 4? And by the side, I mean a separate sort of bundle of maps. So Resurrection 2.0 doesn't necessarily need to be a map pack itself, but it could be a side bundle of remaster maps that doesn't even have to include the DLC. It could just be like a couple maps in the Black Ops 3 store that you buy for let's say five bucks each or three dollars each or something and you get you have a selection of four or maybe even six remastered maps that they brought back. And again that probably is a lot a lot of money um, but you never know maybe it's five bucks for like a, a pack of three maps maybe it's five bucks for the whole four remastered map pack there. So you never know what they're gonna do. Maybe they only give us two remaster maps or maybe even one remaster map so let's say like the only map they remaster is moon and what if they give that to us just as a side map on the side for free for season pass holders has nothing to do with the dlc has nothing to do with anything but it's just a side free remastered map i think that's very possible for them to actually do that with one or several remastered zombie maps if you guys are saying that it's going to be dlc4 is going to also have multiplayer if that's the case then they can definitely do it there's nothing stopping them from doing remaster maps on the side of dlc4 with all that insane stuff i think that's a huge huge possibility here but again think about it anyway whether or not we get it within the map pack or whether or not we get it within dlc4 resurrection 2.0 whether or not we get it on the side whether or not we get it as a season pass bonus or something for five bucks each a pack of five for five bucks a pack of two for three bucks like whatever it is it doesn't really matter because we're gonna look at an image here again Obviously, if you guys don't know, I'm going to show you guys the images again because it's really important to reiterate this. Here is the image before the update of Black Ops 3, this new patch from last week, uh, or this earlier this week, whatever it was, honestly, I don't even know, I think it was last week, where obviously the zombie maps were in this coronation, and then they brought all the zombie maps to the top. 
and think about it. Why would they do that? What, you know, DLC4 is just going to be at the bottom again, so it, it makes no sense for DLC4 just to be right back at the bottom. It just doesn't make sense. So, this is what they're probably doing. They're probably making it so there's so many remaster maps, and I'll, I'll show you again, DLC4 and then the four remaster maps. But the fan-made image that we're going to look at here, the fan-made menu image, is actually taking that to a whole new level. So, here's the image up on screen. You're going to see, instead of having just the two rows like we originally thought, like you just saw in the image, we have three rows, three whole rows for Black Ops 3 Zombies Remastered Maps. So I'm going to read you guys this here. Obviously, we have the giant Shadows of Evil, Terrazin Drax, Zizuku no Shima, Garad Krovi, and then you have Revelations at the bottom. But then you have the maps being brought back. And again, we'll talk about these maps. We'll talk about the possibility of it, of it being three rows and of all these maps returning. So you have Kira Toten, one. 5, 2, Ascension, 3, Call of the Dead, 4, Shangri-La, 5, Moon, 6, Nocturne Toten, 7, and Verruckt, 8. Okay, you have 8 remastered maps, or no, Shinonuma, 9, oh, oh guys, I missed Shinonuma, Shinonuma, 9 remastered maps coming to the game. Obviously, Revelations would be the last one, um, but think about this. Is it possible that we're actually going to see nine remastered maps coming back? Like, it fits with the actual screen. It looks like it fits with the menu. We originally thought it could be two rows, but it looks perfectly here with three rows, honestly. I can definitely see this being a thing. Um, so, I'm not so sure how they would release and how much time and how it's even possible them, for them to actually have nine remastered maps. Doesn't really make sense for me. Again, honestly, I even think they might only just do, you know, like one more remaster map, just one extra, but nine seems a bit much, but even at nine, let's look at these maps here, because there is a bit of a problem. I honestly do not want the World at War maps back again, okay? We just, no. It, it, we don't need Shunuma, Verruckt, and Nocturne Shunuma back for a third time. We saw them within Black Ops 1, even 5. I don't think we really need 5. I think I would put Origins in there, Mob of the Dead in there, and, you know, whatever other map you, you guys want. I'm not so sure. Maybe even Nuketown. A remake of Nuketown would be pretty sick. Maybe even, like, Die Rise or something or Buried. Like, anything like that. Some Black Ops 2 maps. There's no Black Ops 2 maps here. We need those remade. Even though it was recent, I feel like it, those deserve to be remade, you know? Even though I guess they're going for the older maps, I understand. But there's no way we're going to see the World at War maps again. This It just doesn't make sense. Unless they completely redo these World at War maps to make them just completely different. That'd be pretty cool to do. But other than that... I don't really need these maps for a third time. We saw the we saw Doris for a third time. That was enough with that. It was a really fun map, but enough with that, you know. Um, so that is the sort of thing that I've, talk that I've been talking about here with the maps. But again, I don't think we're gonna see these maps in general. I don't think we're gonna see all these maps. If anything, again, leave your comments below. I want to see what you guys think. If you can pick four, I want to stick with the number four. If you can pick four maps to be remastered into Black Ops 3 Zombies, let me know what those would be in the comments section below. I would say, you know, Origins, Mob of the Dead, Kieran of the and Moon. I would probably say those, and those would be pretty sick remastered. But again, like Ascension remastered, Call of the Dead remastered, Shangri-La remastered, those could definitely be really, really sick. Really bringing those maps to people that have never played this before or never played these maps before back on Black Ops 1 would be so in insanely cool. So again, I would want as many remaster maps to come, but I only think the max would be four and the minimum would be one or maybe zero. I, I, don't, I don't know. I have I found it hard, hard to believe that they're not going to give us at least one remaster map. And again, there's there's nothing i really want to this is actually an interesting question you guys can put your four master maps that you want but think about this put this in the comment as well what is one map like if if they were only going to remaster one map what would that one map be that's that's really going to be interesting it doesn't necessarily need to be your favorite map it doesn't necessarily need to be like the worst best underrated overrated just like what is one map that you would think would be sick for them to remaster for black ops or zombies for that for me, I don't know, man. That would be so hard. I would honestly say, like, Shangri-La or something, honestly. I really want them to, like, take that map and really spin it around and just make it such a cool map. Because I know Mob of the Dead is going to be like Mob of the Dead. I know Origins is going to be like Origins. And I want those maps. But I think Shangri-La has so much potential in improving it and making it just so cool for Black Ops 3. That would probably be my one map for them to remaster. Even though I include it in my top four, um, I just think that would be a really interesting map. I, I, would, I would say Call of the Dead, but we don't need a snowy map, obviously. Maybe Ascension would be cool. Five, I would say, like, no, Shangri-La are like five. Because those maps are pretty underrated. And I really want them to bring them back and just spin them into a whole new thing. You know, I, I just think that would be such a cool thing. So again, leave a map that you really want to be remastered in the comments below. And um, yeah, so 
I don't know, guys. What do you think about the possibility, man? I know we've been talking about this recently, and it'll die down a bit. It'll come back up. Maybe we'll see some leaks. Maybe we'll see some more information. Maybe some new revelations will come out, and we'll, <laughs> and we'll actually get some more information about, you know, whatever the DLC 4 is going to be, whatever remaster we're going to see. And again, you know, take this away with a grain of salt, obviously. It's not, like, leaked information. It's not, like, fake stuff. It's just flat out. It's just... You look at the menu, it's a possibility. It's Everyone's been talking about the community. It's really a thing that we all want to see, man. And I don't know, if Trek does this, they would be doing a huge, huge service community and they can make a lot of money and make a lot of people happy. I'm telling you, man. Especially for the people on console that are not getting custom zombies, this would definitely be something to ease them over for the next couple of months or maybe even years, you know? Like, having all these remaster maps would really be a huge plus for Black Ops 3. It would increase the replayability of this game and it would just be absolutely unreal to have these maps on next gen. So. I don't know, man. Thank you, thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you guys think about this. And yeah, hopefully Trick actually gets this done. Uh, so yeah, our leg goal is 200 likes. And that is really it. Hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. Again, once we get more information, I'll try to spin the content around a bit. I know we've been really talking about Resurrection and basically DLC 4 the whole time. I mean, that's really just all we need to talk about right now. The hype is so real for that, man. So that's all I really want to talk about, honestly. Um, but we've been talking about Infinite Warfare too. So the Infinite Warfare information is really fun to talk about as well. And um, yeah, so it's, it's pretty insane. Content's pretty interesting right now. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.